How's it going you guys? It is the end of the day and I wanted to come on here and chat with you guys and also organize all of my seeds. I have four boxes here that I need to just go through and organize and I thought while I organize them I would chat with you guys. So I need to organize these by flowers and vegetables and then just go through and get rid of packets. Like probably I got one in here somewhere in here I've got one that I just saw um and it's like probably five or six years old and there's like maybe three or four seeds in there I just need to get rid of it so I'm gonna go through and do that I'm gonna just get rid of seeds that uh, I'm no longer using and um organize them by flowers and then by like spring and fall and vegetables by spring and fall so I'm gonna do that and we'll chat um, I think I'm gonna just start by emptying one of these boxes first. Well, you guys can see these are seeds that I saved that I didn't even put in these bags that I have too. Um, anyways, I wanted to chat with you guys because I am taking a trip here in about two weeks and I'm really really excited about it. The trip that I'm taking I am going down to Ventura, California and I'm going to be there for um, almost a week's time in total. I'm going down there for the Baker Creek which is <laughs> these this brand of seed. I'm going down for these guys. They're doing an heirloom festival um, and it is next month. It is September 12th through the 14th and I will be there all three days I believe um and I'm, I'm going my flight's already paid for <laughs> and um it's gonna be a really good time so I'm really excited about it if you guys are in the area or if you have a way to travel to get there I highly recommend going it's something that I've heard is a really amazing festival and um it's supposed to be really, really good. So I'm really excited about it. Um, they do all kinds of classes there. They do um, a seed swap. So that's part of the reason I'm going through my seeds. They do a seed swap where you can bring heirloom seeds, which I don't know if I have any heirloom vegetable seeds that I've saved. Um, otherwise you can bring those if you have saved them. So I just am gonna go through and um, clean these seeds up and look and see if I have anything specific that I can take down there for that like I mean I have I guess I have two right here some oh I have an empty pack of seeds this is the yellow croaknick squash and it's an heirloom variety and then I also have a heirloom variety of arugula which I don't like arugula at all so I might bring those down there um and then like this celery I tried the celery I didn't like it so I'm gonna get rid of this this is packaged for for 2020. It's gotta go. These are the black kerm tomatoes. Package for 2020. I didn't love these ones. They're gonna go. These are my loofah gourds. I did this a few years ago. This was a lot of fun. If you have the space to grow loofahs, they get absolutely massive, but I highly recommend growing them. I think ours got like, I don't know, like over 20 feet because it was growing up into the tree and I had loofahs hanging in the trees. It was a sight to see. Um, this is lettuce packet that's empty for 2020 and this one I got from, I don't even remember where I got this from, but this variety was so good. I loved this ice, it's iceberg lettuce, but it was so good and so flavorful. Um, and I had given it to a bunch of other people to try also and they said the exact same thing, that it was really good and really beautiful. Um, but anyways, back to Ventura, I will be there. All of those days at the festival, walking around the fairgrounds that they have there. It's supposed to be beautiful weather. It's right on the beach. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be some really knowledgeable people there, and I'm hoping to learn a lot. I'm wanting to get back into doing vegetable gardening. I went really hard at it the first year that we were on the property. Well, I guess technically the second year, but the first year that we gardened on the property. And um, I burnt myself out way too much. So... I just didn't garden vegetables hardly at all um, for the last two years. Gosh, that is a thick pack of seeds. You just have an option to go down there 
I recommend it. I've never been, my mom has been, and she said it was an amazing, amazing event. And so it should be something that's really cool. What is this? Beets, carrots. My grandmother gave me this. I probably should have read it before I opened it. Cherry tomatoes. Roma lettuce. Squash zucchini. Okay, very, very plain packets. I think it would be fun to see some of you guys. I know a lot of you guys are down south though. And so um, I think that that would be, I think that would be really cool. Um, I've already met, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I've met quite a few of you already, whether you guys recognized me at work or ran into me at a concert or just walking downtown or at one of the nurseries or whatever it may be. Um, if you do see me, always say hi, because I talk about it for days, <laughs> especially to Brent, and then I tell all of my coworkers. <laughs> um, so if you have a way to get to Ventura, California, come check it out. At least look it up. I'm going to link all of that down below, all of the information about the event, because it's supposed to be a really cool event. And I think that a lot of you guys would enjoy it too. I know a lot of you guys are into vegetable gardening. Um, whereas like I've said, I was super into it, burnt myself out on it. And um, I wanna get back into it. I had, so, I had so much fun growing vegetables and we didn't eat a whole lot of them, but we ate a good amount of them. Um, but I think it would be worth it. Some of you guys were asking the other day about some of the asters that were growing with the yellow centers. Um, I couldn't remember quite what they were called, but this is the packet. Aster Salmon Janina. Janina? We know I can't read. <laughs> um, whatever. And then, um, yeah, if you guys have a way to come down there, come hang out with me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I would love to meet a lot of you guys. And also we're gonna be at the beach. White dill. I'm not growing this one again. I'm trying to process <laughs> what I have and what I'm not growing next year versus what I'm gonna grow next year. There were so many things like this one. Why did I order? How many seeds is this? It doesn't even say. A lot. Why did I order this many seeds? These are giant dahlia flowered white. I need to look those ones up. Okay, I'm gonna organize vegetables before I move on to flowers because this is all flowers. That's a lot of seeds in there. That is a lot of packs of seeds. Oh, this is also flowers. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Oh, and these ones too that I'm not growing again. I don't think I'm gonna grow the white dill, the Ami. Um, it was, if I was doing it as a trap crop, like trying to grow aphids, I would definitely grow these because the aphids were super attracted to these. Um, but they like, just dropped petals everywhere. The petals are teeny tiny and it just kind of made a mess. Also the pearl uh, diamond, double diamond yarrow. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like a yarrow or perform like a yarrow. I thought this was something else as it was coming up in the garden. Um, and so I'm not gonna grow this again. I really obviously wanted it because I grew, I bought two packs at two separate times. Let's see. Yeah, well, I bought them both this year. <laughs> and then, um, Boneri's Giant Coral Zinnia. I wanna order more of these. So I'm gonna put a note here. That is my reminder that I need to order more of those ones. These ones are gonna go. I guess I could not throw them away and see if somebody actually wants them. That way people don't yell at me. Okay. I'm not gonna grow this thing of beans that I have. I bought this thing from Burpee. It's a mix of beans. These are bush beans. <laughs> when I was telling you guys how I uh, planted bush beans and I thought they were pole beans because I thought all beans climbed. I didn't realize that there was beans that didn't climb. This was the packet. <laughs> And if you read the back, it says bush beans, three different varieties. Um, but it doesn't say anything about what they do. This is why I don't like Burpee or like some of these other brands, like 
you guys know my love for this brand right here. This is Eden, Eden Brothers. Um, there's no information. So like this one has no information about the plant at all. It just says 55 days to harvest, one inch deep, 10 to six inches. And that's all you get. This one right here, this is for coleus. That is the information you get. On the back right here, there's a generic thing that they put for every single one of their seed packets. So you don't get customized information. This just says, uh, choose your season. Flower seeds are traditionally planted in the spring. Prepare your site, work the ground, sow your seed. A little after the site is properly prepared, simply spread your seeds evenly into the ground. That's, no, that's no information. I'm just gonna end up throwing these away, actually. I wanna look these two up, though, because these are Zinnia seeds, and I don't wanna see what they look like. These ones are trash, though. These are a coleus, um, and I'm not gonna give anybody seeds from this brand, because I cannot stand them. So, like, here's another one. Some apple blossom snapdragon. And, like, my snapdragons, you don't cover with soil. Seed packets from them come like this. And some of them come like this. Even with that though, it doesn't give you planting instructions or how to sow the seeds or anything like that. This is also where I got my black hollyhock seeds that I not that I was not impressed with. And then they have the um, like snapdragon seeds right here. And for a gardener who knows how to garden, but for somebody who's just getting into it, this is not okay. Um, and so. I was just getting into gardening when I had ordered from them because they were cheap and I ordered them online and I thought okay cool cheap seeds I got this it was not worth it and it just was all bad like the snapdragons it didn't tell me that it needed light to germinate so I didn't give them light to germinate and I didn't get a single one up and I thought that I did something wrong but that was um not the case I didn't do anything wrong I just didn't know because they didn't give you any information they just left you guessing which I think a seed company, that's not okay for them to do. Um, and, and they do that with pretty much all of their other seed packets. So they're all gonna go into the trash. Cause I'm not doing that. Cannot support a brand that's like that. Oh look, these are ones that some of you guys sent me. This McKinsey brand. I've sown some of them. Now it's been so long that I can't remember who sent me them. Oh no, one more. One of you guys had to send me seed packets. This was like when I had less than, uh, it had to be less than a thousand subscribers, which feels like years and years and years ago. And I only have four <laughs> of the seed packets left. Um, I've used all the other ones, the ground cherries, I grew those. I can't remember what else there was, but there was quite a few of them. Um, and it was a mixture of vegetables and flowers. And I remember they were up in Canada and I got a notebook. I'll go look at my reel because they, I posted a reel. It was the very first reel that I posted saying thank you to them. Cause this was the first time anybody ever sent me anything. That was really cool. <laughs> Let's get back to organizing these cause I still haven't organized any of these ones yet. Um, I've got those ones I'm not gonna grow. I think there's beets in here, but I won't grow beets. Beets. Maybe I'll grow beets. I've never grown a beet. I've never even tried a beet. I've tried radishes and I don't love radishes. Do you guys like radishes? I've tried them, they weren't for me. And I can't remember if I've done this lettuce or not before, but I need to try it again. And I'm a firm believer too in getting seeds from the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you when I first started growing things in the garden, I grew a lot of things in the um from the dollar trees i think it's like four packs for a dollar like who cares at that point that's uh, like almost no investment at all i'm not about people starting out into gardening and having to spend a stupid amount of money to just get going and um i don't know it just doesn't make sense so now that i've have a full-on addiction to growing vegetables and flowers, I do spend a tad bit more on things than I probably need to. Um, I don't really need to be spending 
you know, 70, $100 on seeds every year, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to the flowers now. <laughs> you know, I think that there is kind of a push with um, people online that you have to have really pretty things and really nice things for what you're doing in the garden. Um, but that's just not simply the case half the time more than half the time the case is you know finding things and that's what you're you found and that's what you just need to grow and i don't think that it's um i don't think people should always have to be pushed just to buy the pretty things like you guys i'm, I'm keeping my seeds in amazon boxes i put a bootstrap farmer sticker on here because that's what i have oh also this is a, a cable tie box or a pegboard box from um, from, what is it called? Harbor Supply or whatever. I just needed it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, more fox love seeds. Okay, but there is, there are hyacinth beans from here. But these were bought like 2019. I want to grow hyacinth beans. I had seen on Instagram, um, you guys, I'm so bad with names. She's actually in like Los Angeles area. She's up in the hills. It's like a cozy, let me look it up. Okay, I found it. Her name is Deb. Um, it's like a cozy garden is what it's called, but it's like spelt different. And um, she's in San Diego and she posted a picture recently. She actually grew hyacinth beans over this really like skinny trellis arch thing. Um, and it was so beautiful. Also her whole property is absolutely gorgeous and she's a photographer so the photos are really beautiful she does not get the credit she deserves on instagram because her place is so beautiful and it's a very established garden it's really really nice um i'm gonna i popped that picture up of her garden so you guys can see the um hyacinth bean that she has growing over it it was i was like jaw to the floor when I saw it I was her garden is really pretty I I stalk her page a lot you guys should too it's worth it <laughs> uh, I have so many things in here I'm not gonna grow anymore and I also had somebody give me <laughs> they were having a event at their work and their work gave out seeds but there's a lot of things I'm not going to grow from that they just they put them on my doorstep and I thought it was really sweet so I just need to get rid of them. I don't need to hold on to um, a bunch of them. Also wanted to show you guys this other morning glory. This is one that I grew last year also. It was really slow to grow and it was tiny. This is the blue petticoat. My mom sent me these and she grew them too. And it was, it was beautiful. This was a really, really nice one. Smaller, smaller to grow. It doesn't get nearly as big. It says um, yeah, five feet tall is how big it gets and blooms in 120 days. And I noticed that it was only going about five feet up the trellis. It didn't reach the very top of the trellis like the other morning glories that were reaching like 15 feet tall. Um, oh, forget me nots, that's empty. I keep empty seed packets of things that I don't want to grow again. Why do I do that? Oh, also... I bought broom corn, broom corn when I went to Texas and visited my mom. And I swear one day I want to grow enough of this broom corn to actually make a broom just like that. So what it is, is you grow this broom, this broom? Yeah, broom. I think that's what it's called. It's an heirloom variety. You grow it and um, you harvest it and it's what people make brooms out of. And I bought two packets because I was like, I'm going to grow enough of this. Um, <laughs> let me show you how much I grow. This was two years ago. This is how much I grow. That is a very, very teeny tiny broom, but it's actually really pretty. Oh, I love it. I've used it in a few arrangements too, but um, you pick all of these seeds off here and the bristles are like really strong and they've got these like really cool wavy textures to them and that's what makes the broom. I haven't gone through my seeds in a while. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna get rid of lupin, alyssum, I'm gonna keep the calendula, get rid of the shafts, the daisy, some of the bachelor button. Oh my goodness, I have tubing in here for some reason. 
Ugh, this is a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up now, now that I've thoroughly talked your ear off. Um, I'm gonna get all of these seeds organized, get rid of the ones that I no longer need, that I'm just holding on to for some reason. Like, this is Sunflower Mammoth that was, I bought, I bought it in 2020. It says it right there on the back. <laughs> I don't need to be holding on to that. I haven't grown them. Um, I'm gonna take care of this. And this is how my brain just works while I am doing any project. <laughs> it goes a million miles an hour and I thought about 10, 15, 20 different things and stories while I'm trying to just stay focused. I came on here to chat to you guys about um, the event in Ventura, California, the Baker Creek, Bear, the Baker Creek Heirloom Expo. So. If you're able to, come down there, come say hi, come hang out with me. It's going to be right on the beach. I will be on the beach a lot of that time. I will be walking around the expo. I will be doing shopping. I'll be going to some of those classes that they are putting on, and I'm really excited about it. And also, if you are still wanting to get roses, I think my code is good until today. It's the 30th is when it expires. So check that out. <laughs> I think it's like 20% off of your order using code VISIT20. That's what it is. <laughs> So now that I've thoroughly talked to you off, thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.